Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Country Pests. Most people hate the smell of a skunk and want to keep them away. There are several methods that you can use to repel skunks or to get them to leave your property safely. This video will cover steps to take and address specific situations, such as skunk under your deck, in your garage, and near your shed. We've put together 10 steps to help you keep skunks away. First, clean up trash and secure cans. Second, get rid of fallen fruit, branches, and leaves. Third, put away pet food and bird feeders. Fourth, clean up animal bedding. Fifth, use motion detector lights. Six, use motion sprinklers. Seven, use fencing to keep skunks out. Eight, seal off tunnels, holes, and access points. Nine, use natural repellents. And ten, trap the skunk. Let's go into each of these steps. First, clean up trash and secure your cans. Skunks are omnivores and will eat most things. Food smell is the greatest attraction that brings skunks to neighborhoods and homes. Get rid of that smell and get rid of the access to food waste. Use garbage cans. Never let garbage sacks pile up in your yard. They are easy to rip and easy to smell. It will cause more time cleaning up the mess. Use garbage cans with secure lids. This will help to contain the smell and make the scraps inside less accessible for any animal. Skunks don't climb well, so they aren't going to get into a tall garbage can. However, they do often nudge it over. Even if they can't enter it, they have already been attracted to your property. If it's possible, store your garbage can securely inside. Even closing it up in the garage is better than leaving it outside, as it will contain the smell. But make sure that your garage is secure so you don't end up with a skunk inside. Next, get rid of your fallen fruit, branches, and leaves. Skunks not only eat fruit and leaves, but they also love the bugs that tend to hide underneath. They scavenge your well. Bugs are one of the preferred diets of skunks, so eliminating those areas with higher concentration of grubs and insects is a great way to stop inviting a skunk over for dinner. There's another reason to clean up that organic debris. Skunks will hide under it. They hide under branches, debris, and other makeshift coverings. Skunks typically like to use other animals' dens and holes. They hide under leaves and branches for protection. Pick up the fallen nuts, berries, and fruit on your lawn. Keep it raked up consistently. You'll also want to put away pet food and bird feeders. Pet food is another great attraction of skunks. Just like a skunk, your cat or dog also likes to eat both meat and plants. Pet food is formulated for that diet and is an ideal food for wildlife to steal. Skunks are night animals, so putting away the pet food at night will keep it from attracting a skunk. Use bird feeders to prevent poaching by larger animals. Hang bird feeders up or use special feeders for poultry. This prevents your skunks from getting an easy meal. Oh, no! Clean up your animal bedding. Skunks are scavengers and are attracted to waste piles and dirty areas to den in. Chicken hay, dog houses, or other animal bedding can attract them. So rotate the hay, clean or spray down dog houses, and deodorize as much as possible. Sprinkle baking soda over the bedding to neutralize the smell. You can also use motion detector lights. Skunks like to hunt at night. In some cases, bright lights can keep skunks away. But that is only effective if smelly odors and food are already put away and contained. A hungry or determined skunk will put up with lights to get the food. If you've already cleaned up around your property, adding solar motion lights works as an added barrier. Skunks don't like the light when they are out hunting. They don't have a lot of defense mechanisms. The only real defense they have is their smell, and that won't keep away hungry predator. That's why they prefer the dark where they can blend in a little better. You can also use motion sprinklers. Motion sprinklers are another great way to create a barrier between your yard and the skunk. It also works best when the skunk attractions are cleaned up and gone. A motion sprinkler detects movement and turns on, blasting the skunk or other animals. It works well if the skunk isn't too sure that you have food for it nearby. Sprinklers work best to keep skunks away. If you have a determined skunk who has already feasted in your yard, the sprinklers won't do much good. Using fencing to keep skunks out. Skunk-proof fencing doesn't have to be tall or complicated. It needs a few specifics to be effective, but can be made out of cheap materials. But if you are trying to keep out more predators than just skunks, you may want to build a fence that will accomplish both purposes. Skunk fences need to only be three to four feet high. Skunks don't climb well, if you can really call it climbing at all. They can stand up on their hind legs, but can't do much better than that. The fence needs to be buried one foot deep. Skunks, as well as many other animals, are very good diggers. They will dig to get under the fence if they smell something or can see through slots in the fence. But usually skunks don't dig. They use other animals burrows. A buried fence will keep all sorts of animals from digging under your fence. Next, you want to seal off any tunnels, holes, or access points. Skunks look a lot bigger and fatter than they actually are. Their fur puffs out, creating the illusion of a larger animal. 
In reality, skunks can fit through most holes that are about four inches wide or larger. Bury and cover animal holes around your yard and along your fence line. Add an apron around your fence if your fence isn't on your property line. An apron comes out two to three feet and is usually made of wire fencing that can be placed along the ground around the fence line. It attaches to the fence and keeps animals from burrowing down. Check your deck, trees, bushes, and other areas where skunks can bed down. Seal and cover all holes. Trim bushes to eliminate hiding spots and cover holes with gravel. Check your barns, foundations, deck, poultry coops, and sheds for holes or other places a skunk would find inviting. Cover and repair walls with plywood or fencing. You can also use natural repellents. Orange pills are pungent and repel many wild animals. Skunks have been known to avoid an area with fresh orange pills. Hot pepper spray can also oh, help keep no. them away. Sprinkle pepper spice around the area so they smell it as they come along sniffing the ground. Dog urine and wolf urine have also been known to keep skunks away because both animals are predators of skunks. Female dog urine can attract other dogs to your property, so be aware. The final thing that you'll want to do is trap the skunk. When trapping a skunk, first make sure that it's legal in your area to do so. Some states in the USA have laws prohibiting the trapping of skunks unless it's by a licensed professional. If it's legal, add the bait in a trap. Skunks like bacon, sardines, chicken, or other meat-based foods. Wet dog or cat food will also bait skunks well. Place the trap at the outside of a skunk burrow, hole, or bedding area. It can be placed near the entry point to a deck, foundation, or shed. Skunks usually use the same entry points. Set the trap. You'll also want to camouflage the trap. Skunks are intelligent enough to avoid a trap, so cover it with branches and leaves. If the skunk prints appear to go into the den, and it may be sleeping in your shed, deck, or foundation, place the trap against the exit point, and then check in the morning for the skunk. When you capture a skunk, be sure to use a heavy towel or burlap bag to cover the trap. This will help protect you from getting sprayed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell so that you can be notified when we release more videos. Thank you.